Hey everyone, it's Daryl from Houseplant Journal and today I'm going to help out my friend Jazz here with uh, her aglonema. She's got a bit of a mealy bug problem. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have a mealy bug problem, which is only the second time I've had this problem because the first time I had mealybugs was on a Peruvian old man cactus. Uh -huh. So it had all the white hair all on it already. So I did not notice it. So I noticed that this guy was starting to struggle a little bit. Mm -hmm. And um, then after you took a look, realized that the issue was mealybugs. Right. So Let's uh, take a closer look right now and see if I can catch it with the camera. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but... Okay, so actually, yeah, we got it right here. So basically, whenever you look into the little cracks and crevices of your plant, if you ever notice right here, like this kind of sappy material, that's the stuff that mealybugs leave behind, and then even further up here, you can see this little white bunch of fluff here. So that's the mealybugs, right? Okay, let's get the camera to focus again. It's very difficult because it's so close and so small. Right there. So let's bring this guy to the table here. And the sun is causing a bit of a funny lighting situation. Okay, let's... okay so... There's three ways we can deal with mealybugs. Uh, the first way I like to do is to cut off the really infested foliage. And normally I would use pruning shears, but here we have to use whatever is available at the office. <laughs> you just go around the bottom here and cut off any that you see are really infested. And also whatever is yellowing too. And how close, how much of the stem are you cutting off? Uh, like. So basically just just the, the petiole almost right to the edge of the stem. Um, obviously I don't want to cut the main the main stem off, right? Because otherwise that's like um, pruning it completely, right? Here, why don't you come closer and I can show you exactly how close I'm going. So like if I wanted this leaf here, it's connected over to that, this main stem here. So I'll just cut it like this. And then, actually, why don't we see if we can get the camera onto here. You can see, like, right in there, there's, like, some white stuff, and that's probably some mealybugs in there. That's so gross. Yeah, it is gross. See, see they, hide, they hide, like, in little crevices in the petiole, and then that's probably why you can't see them. And the second thing we can do is take a cotton swab and dip it in rubbing alcohol and then like physically just kind of sweep off the mealybugs like as you see them. So obviously this is a more labor intensive process because you've got to go and find each one. So why don't we do that? Like we can look down here. See right there. Like that. And you'll notice that mealybugs like to hang out um, in little spaces between the leaf parts. So are you going in on the same Q-tip? Is that okay? Or you switch? Yeah, it's okay on the, on the same Q-tip. You're kind of you're kind of just like pick. You're kind of just picking them up. The third step is you'll do a spraying of all the foliage. And what we spray with is essentially a horticultural oil or sometimes like a safer's end all sort of spray. And you just basically mix it into a spray bottle. Uh, it'll tell you how much water to add to it in order to dilute it to the right amount. And then you just spray it onto the plant. Now, since we're in a sort of more enclosed space here, I'm not going to spray it all over the plant. If you're outside, you could easily just spray the whole thing. But I'm just going to direct the sprays. Uh, into the very center of each stem because remember as we saw earlier that's where all the mealybugs are kind of hiding right so we're just going to do that and so if you're at home would you open a window if you're in yeah i'd open a window because you, you know you don't want to get that spray all over the place but i'm not going to spray too much because we're in here anyway
Do you think we got them all? Well, actually here is the most important part. So we took care of whatever mealybugs we could see like on the plant itself. But the most important thing to know about mealybugs is that they can hide in other places. They love hard surfaces such as underneath your pot. Let's, let's take a look and see if we have any today underneath this pot. We sure oh, no. We sure do. Look at all these little things here. Oh, you know where else we need to check? We need to check underneath the saucer. I, I bet you there's some there. Let's go take a look. Take a look. Oh, there's some here. Yep, so the mealy bugs that are underneath the hard surfaces are easy to get rid of. You just take a paper towel and I'm just spraying it with the, some of the same spray I had from before. And you just wipe them off. And then do you dispose of all of this uh, paper towels and Q-tips into the garbage? Uh, yes. So once again, to get rid of mealybugs, the first thing you can do is cut off heavily infested foliage. The second thing is take a cotton swab and dip it in rubbing alcohol and just kind of individually kill the ones you can see. And the last thing you can do is take horticultural oil or other, other kinds of pesticides and just spray them in the little cracks and crevices that you uh, maybe can't reach. And the last most important tip is check all around your pot especially underneath the pot or even underneath the saucer because mealybugs can hide in other hard surfaces. So if you found this video helpful uh, or if you have any other ways that you deal with mealybugs, leave a comment below. Or if you just want to, you know, commiserate about mealybugs, also leave a comment below. <laughs> I'm Daryl with Houseplant Journal. Thanks for watching. Bye.